In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to send files larger than 25 megabytes on Facebook Messenger. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. When it comes to sending video files that are larger than 25 megabytes, you have two options, compressing the video or sending it via an external transfer site and sending only the link. When we're not talking about video files, only the second option can be utilized. So here's how to compress a video file. You'll want a tool that minimizes quality loss as compressing a video file to per se 10% of its size sounds like a significant decrease in quality. Now, the tool we're gonna use is the Wondershare Uniconverter. This multimedia toolbox is equipped with a compressor tool that can compress files without losing from the quality. Simply get the Uniconverter from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Open it and click on the compressor tool from the home page. Import your file or files in case you need to compress multiple ones. If they have very similar sizes, you can choose a universal compression rate. Otherwise, click on the settings icon next to the files here and move this toggle until the predicted file size here is within 25 megabytes. You can leave the output format as MP4. Note that if the file is way too large, you might have to do this again. But fortunately, we are at luck here because all of these files will be within 25 megabytes after compressing. As a final step, choose yourself an output folder and then click on Start All. When the compressing is done, you can easily send these video files through Facebook Messenger. The alternative and universal solution for sending large files on Facebook Messenger is using a file transfer site or a cloud storage service. I would recommend using WeTransfer if the files are under 2GB or MyAbridge. The free versions of these have their own cons, but both can be used really well. They all work in a drag and drop way, where you just drop your files, click on send and you'll get a link, which then you can share with your recipient. The neat thing about transfer sites over cloud services is that the link expires after some time, which means that you won't forget about your files accidentally and use up all your cloud storage service over time. However, since almost everyone has a Google account, Google Drive is a very, very easy choice. Your Google account comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage space, so you can send quite a few files with that amount of storage space. Here's what you need to do in a brief. Go to Google Drive and drop your file here and wait for it to be uploaded. Then right click on it, go to share and to get link. And then this window will come up here, switch the general access to anyone with the link and then copy the link and send it to your friend. Now your friend can either view the video directly through the link or can download it. Like I said, with transfer sites and cloud storage spaces, you can send any kind of large files and the method is the same. But that is all for today. I hope it could help you. And if so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.